It's a bit cold outside. It is. Welcome. Uh, I want to address police shootings and uh, excessive force issues in Long Beach caused by a stranglehold on the city attorney's office by individuals for 50 years that uh, looks like folks want to continue, at least the folks that have been in power for so many years. It has led to the expenditure of taxpayer dollars and the needless injury and death of individuals because we're not tracking and changing and doing uh, what is necessary to change the things that are causing uh, these incidents. Um, we need to structurally change the police department and incorporate it into the city charter. We need to do that so that it has um, uh, three appointed police commissioners, uh, the job of which is to uh, evaluate uh, the performance of the police department, to, to implement police department policy, to promulgate out to citizens reports on the performance of, uh, of the police chief and of the department on an annualized basis. Uh, the people need to know how their police department is doing. And folks need to be accountable in the police department for what's happening, especially the police chief and the citizen police commission that will do the annual evaluation of the police chief has the ability and will have the ability under the charter to, uh, to do that. Uh, also important is to have an inspector general who will audit and review departmental activities on a regular basis as well as on an annual basis and report that information back to the chief, to the commission, to the city council, and to the citizens of Long Beach. These are the people that the police officers work for. Right now, uh, there is uh, really a lack of leadership and control uh, from our police chief. And so hiring that police chief and how that is done and reviewing uh, resumes that are submitted by the police commission to the mayor, to the, to the city council for determination as to who the chief be the chiefs would be for a five-year period is something this commission needs to do as well. And we need to, to, as I said, review the chief's performance annually. If uh, somebody's not performing in their job, the city, its citizens need to be able to change that person out. And if we do these things, it will first help to reduce the excessive force issues that we have going on from body cameras that will ensure there is accountability by officers from uh, a standpoint of what happens to reporting back on excessive force incidents to other officers and explaining what we can do to change, what we can do to train the department to be better, uh, these things will, will, will help to improve what's happening within, within the department. And, and uh, that goes hand in hand with officer sensitivity training. We need to make sure our officers in the most diverse city, city in the world um, are able to uh, understand the differences based on uh, people's race, uh, their gender, uh, their sexual preference, and not use those things negatively against people, but rather celebrate and recognize that this is a city of diversity. Um, so I appreciate your time. I uh, have submitted a written version of this, and uh, hopefully you can review it. It's something that needs to be done. It's comprehensive, and it will work to effectuate change.